The United Nations, tasked with setting and maintaining standards for the way countries interact with one another and the rest of the world, our Yuan Shin takes a look at how its New York headquarters represents the heart of the organization. Since the end of World War II, the United Nations has been trying to carry out its central mission to maintain international peace and security. And it's been doing that at its headquarters in New York since 1952. Built by an international and collaborative team of designers, it aimed to provide its 192 member states with a forum to engage in dialogue and find areas of agreement to solve international problems and conflicts in a peaceful manner. Its status as a global organization that rises above national borders is underscored by the fact that, although the building is based on American soil, the land is owned by the UN organization alone and is not under jurisdiction of the U.S. government. Although there are other headquarters in Geneva, Vienna and Nairobi, it's the New York headquarters that can be viewed as the heart of the organization. It houses the infamous General Assembly Hall, which is a unique place where esteemed speakers can address the whole world in a single room. The conference building holds the Security Council chamber, where world leaders make the tough choices, such as how to resolve issues of peace and security. And the Secretariat building is where the Secretary General, wherever he or she is from, has offices. Who that will be is currently being debated, but whoever is chosen will share the same corridors with representatives from all over the world. Yunxin, Arirang News.